Hey everyone and welcome to another Winter League vlog from Rot for a Q. This time we're on to week nine, getting to the business end of this league now. This is my 10th match and in this match I play my friend Nige and if you're a long time subscriber to the channel you remember Nige from a three frame friendly, that's too many F's in that sentence, that I did probably back in sort of uh, you know late summer, early autumn last year and uh, yeah he was one of the first people I played at the club who I didn't know in advance, if you know what I mean. So he was one of the first people I met at the club and then played a, a game against and, and let me film, which was which was really kind of him. Uh, he's also in our league and he has a handicap of seven. As I say every time, handicaps work the opposite of golf. The lower the handicap you are, the more inexperienced player you are. The higher the handicap you are, in theory, the more experienced player you are. So a nice plays off seven. I play off 14, which means for every frame, I give him a, a seven point advantage, which is nothing. It's a seven. It's almost not worth playing, but that's the rules of the club and the league. So that's what we're going to do. So into the first frame then. So here we go. Just uh, pressing record on the camera and a little wobble. And we're about to flip for it. Well, nice just put the coin down. And he wins okay. and chooses to break. So, yours is seven, is it? Yeah. So, there's me putting his uh, seven point lead, head start rather, on the scoreboard. Let's take a look at his break. Yeah, pretty good. Plenty of right hand side. Pretty good weight. In fact, yeah, pretty good. It's probably only about four or five centimeters off the box cushion, I'd say. Has pushed a red towards the corner pocket though, which is not good, but I still couldn't get it in, so. Uh, and left him a chance with that uh, return of safety. But unfortunately, he couldn't take it, and it's me that gets the first chance. As always in these uh, videos, these edits, I'm just going to show the shots that score points or lead to scoring of points. Oh, with the exception of end of break shots, which that, that was effectively. That was a pretty disappointing shot for blue for me. Uh, Nigel gets the next chance in this red in the left corner. Doesn't manage to avoid cannon on the red door on the edge of the bunch, so I'm left with this tricky green to the top mm. right hand corner. Not quite, but left it pretty safe. I don't think I can get through to the red at the left middle, so yeah. So just showing you this shot because this was a tricky one. I'm pretty pleased with the outcome here. Lucky the red didn't go off the pocket completely, but I was pretty happy with that being over the bridge there. It was pretty difficult. Uh, good point into the middle there from Nige. But that red that I, sh uh, I left there before is acting as a goalkeeper for the black, so mm. no choice to go up there but to go up to a bulk colour, or blue or one of the bulk colours. Takes the blue in this instance. Not a million miles away, but as he flicked it in the middle, oh, he almost flicked it in the middle, but he didn't. So can I snick this red that I've left on a previous shot in the left corner? Yeah, but can I avoid the enough? Just, just avoided the enough, but never mind. Well, I say never mind. I kind of left it close to this spot cushion, so mm. tricky shot on the blue. Blue is pretty much over the pocket though, so as long as I cue this well, it should be okay. But no, not quite. Just the one then. But next chance again falls to me. This one's a pretty good chance. Black's not on its spot, but it's close to. 
Uh, so yeah, just a bit of a stun shot out for the black. Oh. Wasn't on its spot, but still that's the black they should be getting. And we're now all over the pocket, which makes for a very uh, tense situation. Basically means that unless something extraordinary happens, the next red is worth seven. Uh, the next red is definitely worth eight, rather. Um, but Nigel gets an unlucky in off there. But actually, that's not too bad because it's fairly safe in the pocket. Although it's costing four points, it's not really left me much to go at, apart from this long red into the bottom left. get the uh, implements out to get some black which falls in. Why is this cue ball gonna end up oh, nowhere good? Looks like I should be able to get one to the right middle. Maybe it's getting blocked there, yeah, must be getting blocked for just a sec but yeah I'm trying to get in behind the black I think. too hard but still at least I got that black over the pocket so that knives didn't get those seven points good long red for me very fortunate kiss on the brown or cannon into brown brings it out from the cushion gives me a chance of this spot it was pretty straight though so I couldn't do too much with the cue ball making sure of the points. Yeah, nowhere near on that one. And then we're going to block even if they've got it. So the next chance falls to nine. She gets this uh, opportunity of the red near the left corner. Can he get on a colour? Oh, not only can he not get on the colour, but he can't stay on the table, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, sign a good queuing, as I always say, but yeah, unfortunate. So, I was nowhere near that. <laughs> not, can't remember if I'd gone for the pot there in the bottom. But it was a very lucky fluke. Fluke of the century. But managed to get a yellow off it. Front of the camera, but uh, what can we do? So I'm going for this red in the left middle, just past the green. Mm -hmm. yeah. Don't manage to fall for the blue in the right corner, which is what I was trying to do, unfortunately. Wasn't far off that, considering it was fairly off the queuing. Didn't leave anything, and then I do get the next chance as well. So fairly simple red into the left middle. Hopefully I can hold for the blue. No, I can't. It's too hard again. But green's closer to the pocket this time. Still pretty off the green over the blue. Shot. Pretty happy with that. These reds are tied with pink though, so one to the red in the left corner. Not far off. But I think I've left it for nine. He doesn't take it though, he takes this red into the middle, just in an easier looking pot. Yeah, nice pot. Pink's tied up though, so just back for the uh, green, I think. Right, I need 
was left to shred for me as well. So I'm fairly comfortable at the moment. 22 point lead for me. Again, don't really think about the easy colour, but I managed to lay a pretty nasty sneaker for Nige, which he doesn't manage to get out of. But it doesn't leave a free ball, which is, which is good. But my lead is getting comfortable, so 27 points ahead. Still 43 left though, so <coughs> it's not over. There's another in off the knife. But he goes to get the next chance. I leave one over the corner here, so he gets the chance to get another red. He does this time manage to get on the blue, but actually he's taking the yellow because he's uh, not quite on the blue, so he's looking for less news got on the yellow. But I don't think he manages it. I think I can just get past the odds, the red. Yeah, quite easy to go. But have I left it on the pocket? Yeah, pretty much. Good cue ball though, but nice can get to it. Nice cue in, gets it in nicely. So he needs a colour here to avoid needing snookers. Gets the yellow, so that's got him. Uh, got him to the point where he doesn't need sneakers to tie. Uh, I think maybe if he'd stopped and looked at the scoreboard, he might have taken another pot other than the yellow, but I don't know. But anyway, I get that yellow in, so now he now definitely does need sneakers. Try to play one myself there, but messed it up completely. Uh, but I get this chance to cut, fin cut on the green. So that's uh, nice, pretty much in trouble. And I do believe he concedes after I play this shot. Yeah, you don't see it. The brown doesn't go in or anything like that, but it's uh, it's leave it for you, so. Uh, and uh, Niger concedes at that point, so very gracious of him. I think he only needed two snoops at that point, but there we go. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with that result. That's the first frame to me, and it was pretty comprehensive. Uh, Nige didn't really get going, and I felt like I potted some quite nice uh, balls there. Nige did have a couple of unlucky in-offs, but uh, I don't think it made that much difference to the difference to the result. So can I get the second frame in the bag and take the win in this match? Let's join my voiceover for frame two. So here we go then, frame two, meter break this time. So let's have a critique of my break. I'm experimenting with breaking from the other side. I normally break yellow between yellow and brown, but I am experimenting with the other side. I feel like I can put left hand side on a little bit more comfortably and I can aim at the, the, the left hand edge of the reds more consistently, but I hit that far too hard. Other than that, it's really good, but it hit far too hard. But after a couple of safety shots, it's me that gets the first relative chance, you know, not even really chance, but pretty happy with that red into the middle. Could have done with going a little bit further on the blue to uh, be top side of it, but quite, so just making sure of the points there. So that's you know, my handicap or, or Nigel's handicap be covered in pretty much two shots, which is nice. 
So just a safety shot. Well, not as much safety shot, but a pot with safety in mind. An excellent long red from large. A little bit of white. Could have just done with a little quarter ball kiss on the black, and I think he would have been perfect for the black in this corner. As it is, though, he manages to put it in nicely. Turning safety, the dump shot as uh, Stephen would call it. But after a bit more of an exchange of safety, I do get this chance into the middle. But colours are all good a little bit, we'll see the blue is. But I managed to get on the black. Maybe we could have done with rolling a little bit further off the cushions to make this spot a little bit more comfortable. But Pretty happy with that. I'm pretty happy with the result off the red as well. Although the cue was awkward and I missed it. That's a shame. That was a chance to get a couple. Yeah. Anyway, red and the black bring it back into uh, within 1.9. But he puts this nice pot along the cushion and gets lovely out of the black. Quite high enough for the red door. Yeah, just a safety shot. <laughs> anyway. But eventually he I do get this chance. So can I get out for the black? I haven't hit no, I haven't overhit it because I thought I was gonna hide behind that red. So another chance of a red and black for me. But I can't be missing reds off the spot like that. It's uh, Unforgivable, really, and not getting positioned on the red as well. Oh, Great pot from Nige. Could have done with a bit more luck on that, but he still he has got this black. Yeah, he gets it on the red still. Good position, and he's on the red as well, the top right hey. corner. Not left it though. For me, and I don't want to influence anybody's decision, but this is the shot of the match for me. Get that red in and get reasonably nicely on the black. And importantly, get the black in. Just a safety shot, trying to get behind the brown here, but I stood up in the way of the shot. I mean, that's what I played. Just about, not quite. I think it is just snooping actually, yeah. So, I'm oh! My turn to make a silly or not. That's nice. But this is that one. That was just yeah. stupid. <laughs> Another good long one from Nige. And just about, yeah, it gets just about nice on the black. Chance for a couple here. Oh, that's heartbreaking. Yet yeah, again, another nice long red from Nigel. Not much in the scores at the moment. those middle pockets. Oh, 
watch it. So, chance to night here, another middle pocket pot. Yeah, so that nicely. We're both pointing in the middle pocket pretty well in this match, uh, in this frame, certainly. Tricky rest shot, almost uh, loop of cell style. Yeah, and then puts that in. Bit of an unfortunate result with the pink. With the, could it, that pink could draw just another six inches moving on. Hit that harder than it needs to be. Lucky I didn't go in off. Lucky the brown was there, although I think I was going in off. Well, just a snooker, which I don't play very well, I play it too hard. So 10 points in it, three reds left. So here's where I have to apologise and hold my hands up and say that is all the footage I have for that frame, which is a real shame and uh, I really, really disappointed in myself. Basically what happened was the camera ran out of battery. Basically when I'm playing these two frame matches, I check the battery level at the end of the frame, at the end of the first frame, and if it's less than 50%, I change it. If not, then I'll keep going and hope that it lasts. And um, yeah, it turns out the first frame was comparatively quick and the second frame was not, uh, and the battery ran out at this point. I will say that I've started using my phone as a sort of a remote control for the GoPro, and that has a, an audible warning on it when the battery gets low. So hopefully this won't happen again. So I also am looking into using a power bank to power the camera. Uh, I just need to get a new battery door, which will allow me to connect a USB cable to it. Uh, and that'll mean that the camera will run for hours and hours on a decent sized battery uh, power bank. So hopefully that's the end of this problem. So let me tell you what happened at the end of this frame. Uh, and you can probably tell that Nige was actually starting to pick up his game quite a lot in this frame. And certainly towards the end of the frame, he was potting quite nicely. And that's actually where this frame headed. Um, we basically, he, he potted most of the reds, I think all of the reds left actually, maybe even one or two with colours to the point where we got to the brown and I needed a single snooker to win. And whilst I didn't get the snooker, Nigel was unfortunate enough to go in off and left me a chance to win. And the good thing is because he went in off, I was able to put the cue ball in D and had an easy starter on the brown with the other colours in relatively potable positions. They weren't easy by any means, but they were in relative, relatively potable positions and I managed to clear, just like I did against Bobby, I managed to clear brown to black to take the frame. And uh, yeah, I'm really pleased with that. Unfortunate for Nigel because it was a very unlucky in-off. And uh, yeah, uh, but that's that's the way the, the, the game went and I'm really sorry I didn't catch that because it was genuinely one of the best uh, clearances. Of, well, it was definitely the best clearance I've ever done because the one against Bobby... Um, had some good shots in it, but I'd already won the frame at that point, whereas this one I needed all of the balls. I needed brown to black to win, so there was quite a lot of pressure on it, and uh, yeah, very disappointed I didn't get on the camera. But as I say, hopefully that won't happen again. Anyway, that's it for this week. Next week I'm playing uh, Rob, who is the, well, equal best player in the league if handicaps are to go by, so he's got a handicap of 42, so look out for that one. That's going to be a real tough match, but if I can get a frame or two from that, then that gives me a real chance to uh, you know, make progress in this league. So look out for week 10 coming soon. See you then.